This video will teach you how to set up a document for return delivery in SAP S4HANA. Follow these steps. Go to transaction VL01N and enter the following information into the fields. For the shipping point field, put in 0001. For the order field, put in the returns order number from your system. The shipping point can be retrieved from the returns or any sales document in the line item shipping tab for the material being processed for delivery. Note that while the shipping point field is line item data at the sales order level, it's header level here in the delivery. In addition, you can ignore that the transaction you're working with is called create outbound delivery. Because a returns order is input, the system will automatically convert to a create inbound delivery. Press enter to progress to the returns delivery create overview screen. Click on the picking tab. Enter 1000 in the s lock storage location field. Click on the post goods receipt button shown. This will designate the exact section of the warehouse to which the goods will be replaced, permitting them to be picked again in the future. A message should appear with your returns delivery document number on the status bar in the lower left corner of your screen. This returns delivery document can now be used to create a credit invoice document to proceed in the next step of the order to cash process. To check the document flow, go to transaction VA03, enter 251 in the order field, and click on the document flow icon as you've done previously. The flow with the new series appears. Notice the new documents at the bottom. The returns delivery together with the sub-document for the post goods return. The picking request isn't reversed as it's not relevant for the returns. There is no such thing as picking goods for return to stock. As previously noted, new reversal documents appear successively as we process the new offsetting documents.